guys. You want to say hi? I <laughs> She says hi. Um, so I thought I would do a blush collection today. I thought that that would be really fun. I had like a bronzer yes. collection up a while ago. Aubrey says yes, yeah, she thinks it'll be fun too. I had a bronzer collection up a little while ago and I thought it'd be fun to do my blushes. Um, I have, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 11 blushes. One of them is cream and 10 of them are powder. So I thought it'd be fun to show you. I am like, <laughs> I have such a big headache today. So I've had just like a huge headache today. It just came out of nowhere. Like I feel so sorry for people that have to deal with like migraines and stuff. Um, because I just have a headache and I feel awful. So yeah. Yeah, if you have to feel, have deal with migraines, I am so sorry. Like that is just awful. Yeah. Just, I have a headache today and it's like taking everything to do this video. It's just, I think it's just um, the really warm weather, which I love, but I think it's just, it's like getting really, really warm and I don't think I've drank enough water today. And so I think just all of that kind of just made a headache happen. But anyway, we're still gonna do this video and it's gonna be awesome, Mommy, huh? So the first one I'm going to talk about is this Burberry blush, and this is in the shade Cameo. And this is my only Burberry blush. It's definitely one of my favorites. I love this. It is such a pretty color. These blushes smell so good. They have like a slight, like kind of floral scent, but they're not overpowering. They are so beautiful. Um, I love this blush. It's so opaque and it's so pigmented and the quality is like so amazing. Like these are expensive, but you're getting what you pay for. I just shook you guys, I'm sorry. You're getting what you pay for with these because they're just flawless. They're so good and I love them so much. Um, this cameo shade is kind of like a dusty pink. It's not overly pink, it's not overly mauve, it's just kind of in the middle and it's just perfect like this is probably like in my top two favorites of the blushes I have I love this blush so much the only thing I wish that they would have made the packaging go all the way back this is as far as you can push it back it can't go any more than that and so I wish that it went all the way down and I wish that they would have just got rid of this stupid little slot for a blush because blush brush because nobody uses those dinky brushes anyway and I wish that they would have made the packaging a little bit smaller the blush just a little bit bigger oh, yeah. so okay I have two Chanel blushes in my collection these are the two Chanel's that I have I oh my gosh I love Chanel brush I'm gonna say I love like all these because I do I wouldn't have anything that I didn't love I'm not the type of person that just keeps things that I don't like if I don't like it I get rid of it so all these blushes I love um, Chanel's have a special place in my heart they're just amazing quality the first Chanel that I ever got is this one. This is in the shade Rose Ecren. And oh my gosh, I love it. Um, it's just perfect. Um, in my swatch of this, when you're going to see the swatch of it, it, it comes across a lot more pink than it really is. It's kind of like that dusty rose color in real life. It's not super Mommy, pink. I mean, it's pink. It's pink, but it's not like overly pink it's like a dusty kind of color so it's very pretty again with the packaging it's just it's weird they don't go all the way down which I wish that they did and you know I wish that they would have made the blush a little bit bigger and taken out this slot for a brush so just kind of funny but I love I love these they're beautiful Rose Le Creme is the winner in my book and then I also have one in the shade Angelique and this one was a limited edition shade and it's just so beautiful. It's like such a pretty coral color. It's just gorgeous. And I just, these are so pretty. They smell very, very strongly of like floral, like kind of roses. If that bothers you, you might not like it. I don't love lingering scents. I have a hard time with certain perfumes and I have a hard time with lipsticks that kind of have scents to them. But blushes, like they don't stay on your face. So these don't, like they don't linger though. And so I love that. I love that you can kind of smell it when you're putting it on and it's like that really pretty rose scent, but it doesn't just like stay with you. It just kind of like goes away, which I just, these are so pretty. So I have Rosa Crenn on today. This one's Angelique. It was limited, but just beautiful. Love Chanel blushes. They are so gorgeous. So this one is from Bobbi Brown. This is the only Bobbi Brown one I have. They're very small in comparison. Um, like a Chanel blush and a Bobbi Brown. They're, they're really, really small blushes. And so I wish that they would have made them just a little bit bigger because they're just a little bit small, but they're, they're great blushes. This is in the shade Desert Rose. It's like a pinky kind of shade. It's very, very natural. Um, and this is great for traveling because the packaging is so easy and small. Um, 
yeah, it's just a very simple blush. It's very neutral, and I love to wear it with a lot of things. It's a really good pigmentation, so I think Bobbi Brown do a really great job with those for sure. I have two MAC blushes. Um, the first one is limited edition. This one is in the shade, oh, wrong one. This one's in the shade At Dusk, and it was one of their extra dimension kind of collections. Um, it's just a really pretty pink kind of shade. Mine kind of got a little bit messed up. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I think I was traveling with it and it got dinged a little bit. But if they ever come out with this again, I'll get another one because I love this blush so much and I'm so like terrified of running out because it's just a beautiful color. Like it's so, so pretty. So I love this one. I love MAC blushes. They're so great. I also have Blush Baby. This one's like a slightly kind of mauve purple, but it's not too dark. It's just like that perfect natural pinky purple, but it's not too dark, if that makes sense. It's just really nice. A blush Baby is so pretty. Um, I got that one first and I got at dusk. I got that one at a CCO, but it's limited and so I'm just love it. They just need to not make so many things limited because it's so hard when they're gone. But love those blushes. This one is from Marc Jacobs. It's my only Marc Jacobs one I have, and it is in the shade Reckless. And this is what, it's just so pretty. It, in the pictures, it comes across a lot more pink than it is. It's really kind of that plummy, like neutral pink. Those are the shades I'm into. Like that's like what all my blushes are. That's so embarrassing. Um, but it's like a very kind of plummy pink. It's not overly pink at all in real life. Look at how cute these little packagings are. This one and the Bobbi Brown one are both pretty small. So yeah, it's a little bit small, but I really like that they didn't waste any space. Like you push this button. I do wish it would have went all the way down, but I like that the center is just all the blush and there's no spots for brushes or anything like that. I just, I really love this packaging. I think it's really pretty. So love this blush. It's so beautiful. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's, oh, it's just pretty. I really, really like it. This one is my only Urban Decay one. This is the Urban Decay Afterglow blush in the shade Fetish. It's just this really pretty pink. It's not super light and it's not super dark. It's just a really good pink shade. It's like a very neutral in the middle pink, which I really like. Um, it's not like a baby doll pink and it's not super dark. It's just really great shade. I love Fetish. I think it's amazing. Such a good blush, such a good formula. Really like these. I love the packaging on these too. I think that the packaging is so nice. It goes all the way down, the whole thing. It's just, the packaging is great. So, love these. I have a Becca blush. These look like little flying saucers. They're so cute. Um, this is in the shade Damselfly. And it's very, and I love the packaging. It goes all the way down. And again, it's just the whole thing is blush. I love that. Um, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. There's not a lot of like sparkle or glimmer or anything like that. It just has a little bit of like healthy sheen. It's very pretty. It's kind of like a peachy kind of orangey color, kind of like a terracotta peachy orange, if that makes sense. It's very, very pretty. This is probably my most worn summer blush. I love this one and the, and the Chanel Angelique for summer a lot. So yeah, Becca blushes are so cute. I love that they look like flying saucers. They're so awkward, but they're so cool. I really like those. So really like that one a lot. Um, this is a Japanesque blush. Look at the packaging, it's so pretty. It's like marbled. And the shade is, it's just called Velvet Touch Blush and the shade is in 01. It's a very like, and it goes all the way down. I love when they go all the way down. It makes me so happy. Um, it's like a very pinky blush. It's very much pink, but on my skin tone, it just looks so healthy and beautiful. This is another one that I love in the summer. It's so nice. I got this at Ulta like a while ago, probably like two years ago when they actually sold Japanesque in Ulta. They don't sell these in Ulta anymore. They sell them, um, in Ulta online, but not in the store anymore. But I just fell in love with this one and I really like it. My very last one is a cream blush. This is from Makeup Forever. This is their HD high definition blush in the shade 220. I am so picky with cream blushes. I cannot stand the NYX ones or the MAC ones because they're very slippery. And they're just so slippery and runny and like, glossy I'm not into the glossy face I'm like oily enough already in the summer or winter I I don't need that and so 
I really appreciate these cream blushes because they're very like natural, they dry very fast, they're just really good. And the shade, mine's a little bit messy because it's a cream blush, but it's in the shade 220. It's like the most natural color. What I love these for is putting them underneath my blush and then putting a blush on top and it just keeps the blush lasting all day. In the winter I don't do it as, like, as much, but in the summer I use this all the time under my blushes because it's like a neutral shade so it goes with everything and it keeps my blushes on for a very long time. These cream blushes are just amazing. I might even look into getting one more, more like corally color just because they're just so dang good. And I'm not a cream blush fan, but these are like the only cream blushes I will ever wear. They are so good and I love them. So the Makeup Forever ones are so, so good. Love those. And that's it. That's all my blushes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you've liked seeing all of them. I'm a little bit boring when it comes to blush because I'm very neutral. I just, I'm drawn to those colors. I love corals too, but um, yeah, the one that I really want to get still is the Tarte Exposed. I ran, out of, I ran out of that forever ago. I still need to pick one of those up. Um, and surprise, it's a neutral. <laughs> but yeah, I just... I love blush. I think it's so fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have like blush collections or anything like that because I'm always getting ideas. Let me know if you like any blushes that I haven't mentioned that you think I would like because blush is really fun to shop for. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and check out my other channel if you haven't. I'll have it linked below. It's just a vlogging channel and of my cute little family and my kids and my husband and I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.